I'm Church Organist, and I'm going to show you how to edit the drum palette in MuseScore. I've already got MuseScore up and running and ready to go. So first of all, I'm going to create a new score. Go to File and a New and click to create the score. As usual, the Create New Score window comes up and I'm going to enter the title Drum Demo in the box. It's important to make sure that the Create New Score from Scratch option is ticked and as you can see that is the case here, so click on Next. The Instrument Selection window has now popped up, so click on Unpitched Percussion, then Drum Set 5 Lines and finally Add to create the drum kit in the score. Now we click on Finish, as we do not need a key signature and are going to use the default 4-4 time signature. The new score is now open on the screen and the first job is to right click on the stave and choose Edit Drum Set. You can now see there is a list of all the MIDI notes together with any sounds which have been assigned. In order to assign these sounds to the drum set, you will need to know the general MIDI note number for that sound. You can find one at Wikipedia in the article on general MIDI. I already know that the MIDI note number for the triangle sound is 81, so I'm going to scroll down to it, select it, and then type its name in the box at the top right. I'm now going to set a suitable note head. The position on the stave. The stem direction. And the default voice. That's all done now, so press OK to close the dialog. Now press Escape or click somewhere in the score to cancel the stave selection. If you open the drum palette now, you will see there are sounds in it, but our triangle isn't there yet. So we save our work. Close down Muse Score and then reopen it again. All being well, your drum demo score will come up automatically, but if not, go to File own recent and it should be there at the top for you to open. OK, if we open up the drum palette we can see that it's empty, but if you click on the first rest you'll see that it fills with sounds and if we scroll down we can see that our triangle is there at the bottom and can be used for entering notes. And there we have it. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps you. Thank <laughs> you.